cannabis. Sativa. Dope. Indica. Weed. Leaf. 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 This is Leaf Life. All things cannabis for all people. Now, here are your hosts, Ricker and the Bearded Lorax. We publish a free magazine called The Leaf that is available in print in 13 states at your local cannabis retailer and also available online at leafmagazines.com. My name is Mike Ricker and I'm your host of Leaf Life with my co-host Wes Abney, also known as the Bearded Lorax. I speak for the trees. And of course there's Stashley. The token female. And Mary J. White. The smoking female. Since the invention of moving pictures, people have shared a fascination for cinema. And even with the addition of countless new platforms vying for our entertainment attention through the years, none has ever dominated in popularity like the silver screen. This is Movies and Weed V2. Perfect for some of that super silver haze. Oh, nice. <laughs> silver screen, get it? It's, yeah, it's nice. Really it's smart, good, smart Wes. Guy. Very good. And our first segment, <laughs> What's Hot? And in our second segment, Popcorn and Pot. But before we get educated, we've got to get medicated. So let's get stoned. Yeah, so wherever your day has led you, now it's time to fire it up or chew it up or drink it up, whatever. Get in the mood because it's time to introduce this show's Greg the Guinea Pig. Hi, I'm Greg, and Ricker used to try his weed out on me. But now it's someone else's turn to be the guinea pig. That's right. And this time, we've got a second timer. A big timer, no less. Charles Mudidi, who's a senior staff writer and film critic for the legendary Stranger, Seattle's only remaining newspaper. An iconic one at that. Charles, welcome back to the Leaf Live podcast. Yes, thank you. And also, I directed a film recently. Thin Skin is its name. Really? We just... I can't... I'm supposed to make. I'm not supposed to make an announcement, which I want to make. Oh, but that's anyway, okay. That's, uh, yeah. Thin skin. <laughs> uh, if if you if you can't, you know, if, if you're going to go online and look it up, you've got thin skin. Yes. You, okay. And I, I don't, I don't know that. what that meant, but uh, okay. Anyways, Charles, uh, you need a little sedation, so let's uh, spin yeah. Stash's wheel and see what's. It. Oh, are you going to be smoking today, Charles? No, no, no. I'm. I'm a. I'm a I'm a, a drip guy. Oh, he's a tincture guy. So Stash, <laughs> it's, a, it's your lucky day. Stash, spin your wheel and see what's okay. in there. Hey. Oh, I guess. And now, what's in Stash's stash? There it is. Will it land on the nug jug, the dab saucer, the vape cart, the edible, the infused drink, the inhaler, or the oh. suppository? Yeah. Now, Stash, if you're into suppositories, uh, although we don't have one, you could probably use the lighter. Put the joint in your mouth and just light it that way. Yeah. Right? Huh? Okay, I didn't know where that was going at no, first. It sounded got, really weird. I but got hey. <laughs> I got a joint out of my jar, out of my out of my stash. Uh, this is from Dog Star Cannabis. Cool. Out of the Hannah Industries brands. Yeah. Nice. And this is their orange aid, and it oh. smells Fucking phenomenal! All right, well, I'm let's call so that excited, pinch hitter, brother. It's uh, thank bad. you for not smoking. And now stepping up to the plate. Is he just pretty joint? I know. If I wasn't uh, teaching this afternoon, <laughs> yeah, that's the pinch hitter. There she is, firing up a big old J. Now, Charles, don't you look jealous? Yes, I am. No, it. oh, it's a handsome it's, looking. Yeah, uh, it's hard to joint. light with all that. It's a handsome looking joint. It it's really beautiful. Is. It is a lovely joint. Uh, Charles, you're a tincture guy, you say, but you use it for sleep, don't you, regularly? I'll, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to tell you a little bit more. Oh, well, go ahead. Okay. I'm all ears. No, because it's when we talk about movies. Oh, well, let's yeah, get right into yeah, it. Yeah. Now that Stash is good and high, she'll yeah, be delicious. ready to have some fun and talk about her favorite movie, The Book of Eli. Yeah. Well, is it really? <laughs> no, but we. Were, <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about earlier. Me uh, neither. But I was like, you got to watch that. Mary has never watched it before. Fair enough. I just love Denzel. To be mm. honest, I love every single movie he's in. Yeah, Training Day was probably my favorite. I think Denzel I have movie. two copies but, of DVDs but, of Training Day because what, I'm like, well. what about Glory? What Charles? Uh, the he the Civil War a, film. He won an Academy yeah, Award for Best yeah. Supporting Actor, and that was where Denzel was discovered. Really? Yeah. Well, all I could see was f- f- uh, the guy from Fears uh, from what Day Off. Ferris Bueller. Was Day oh, Off. Yeah. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew Broderick. He, he plays the sergeant or whatever. I was like, the, oh, he grew up. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but taking there's, responsibilities. There's a scene in there where Denzel plays a slave. Yeah, yeah. Um, was he a slave or was he just a soldier? There were slaves who became soldiers gotcha. uh, and fought in the north, and uh, the, their boss was uh, was was Matthew Broderick. Was Matthew uh, Broderick. One of the most moving they're, they're, cinematic they're such, yeah. scenes yeah. in the last hundred years, in my opinion. Or well, the very end of the movie is staggering because they. they it's a mission. You, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. No, no, no. Yeah. This is movies and weed. You can spoil any fucking movie you want, <laughs> dude. If you, if you know, we're, we're, don't come on this show expecting not to hear yeah, us talk about movies. Uh, but let's get into it, man. So when we, you know, what's hot? That's the question. Okay. So here I am. I'm a, you know, I, I like to blend my, uh, my spliff with CBD. Okay. Right. And usually one for one. That's what I do. Oh, so you nice. roll CBD flour? Oh, I, I, I buy them pre-rolled is what yeah. I do. Oh, you yeah. just go one after the other? Just no, of... no, you just smoke the joint as, uh, as it's, one. It's got both like of them. A one-to-one oh, joint. One-to-one one joint. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. And it's really, I mean, it's great for listening to music. I'm a huge dub fan. Cool. And I can I can tell dub you. Dub reggae? Like, yeah, see, yeah, dub reggae. And, yeah. and you can't really listen to um, dub right with no without thc yeah Truth, it's yeah. just it's just i don't understand like you cbd <laughs> it's just like you, you know cbd is like you're looking at the at the at the, at the beauty from a great distance right mm. but you're not there when you put the thc you're you're, there. you're right there you the vision. <laughs> you're, you're you're in the middle of the uh, by the way i'm a dub fan as well and Every Saturday morning, the first thing I do, I'll be lying in bed. Yeah. And I'll turn my stereo on in the living room and get some dub reggae going just to get me in there. It's like Saturday. No. I don't have to worry about any work or any no. pressures. And, it, you know, it's just feel-good music. Yeah. I, th I was going to say I'm wearing a Grateful Dead hoodie. Oh, yeah. And it's like Grateful Dead without acid or hallucinogenics is terrible music. Doesn't work. Yeah. Doesn't work. <laughs> but no. as soon as you're high on LSD, you're like, no, it makes it sense. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, right. And you actually see this music. Mm -hmm. I always tell people like with TT, you actually see how it, what they, what they, what they're doing on the controls and how they're messing with the sounds and how they're processing it. It's beautiful. And so I still have to have it. I'm not a, you know what I mean? I still have to take it, but yeah. I, um, I, 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 uh, what happened was I, uh, Dune came out. Mm. Dune came the new out. One. The new one. The new dude. I, I remember watching the old one when yeah. I was a kid. Sure. With, uh, with uh, yeah, that yeah. That big ass worm. Oh, the big ass worm <laughs> and also uh, Sting in his underwear. With Kyle oh, McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or lion cloth or whatever that yeah whatever that, that space was. Thing. what was that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was mm. but I uh, but you gotta was, admit he was hot he was hot oh yeah those Dude days was yeah he was ripped and he, he you know and uh, that was that that element was missing from the new one so when I say what's hot I didn't mean sting bro I mean like in movies <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I uh, I'm open minded and so I, uh, I I I went to I watched I watched uh, Dune. And you know, it's, it's, it's Villeneuve, right? The 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 the, the French yeah. Canadian director, yes. who did uh, um, um, a bunch of other science fiction. He did Blade Runner a few years yeah. ago. Oh, God, yeah, the, the right? new one, the new one, yeah. not really the new Scott. one, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and so I I I'm there watching this film, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just going on and on. Like I'm just like the new one. The new one, yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. The old one went on and on. Well, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But it was just like okay, they gotta go to this planet, and then they gotta get this rice, and then they gotta. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like oh, we get it. Like, oh, all yeah. these establishing yeah, yeah, it's just like all this stuff of just flying in these in these insect looking helicopters, and I'm just like, my God, is this going on? Where's I, the story? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Can I and, make a confession? Yeah, no. I yes. fell asleep. I, <laughs> oh. and I did I, a little bit, but I woke up. And and it was still going on. They were still in the, they were still in the helicopter. It was, was still like trying to get that spice from the worms. I was yeah. like, oh man, it's just you know. And I and I and I and I left, and I was like, this. I don't get what anybody's talking about this film. I don't quite get it, like at all. Really? Like, no, no. Because I've heard it's a cinematic masterpiece. Yeah, it's up for an Academy Award Is, as Best Picture it, oh. this year in 2002. I think that's its only award that it's up for. But I, you know, I, 2022. Uh, 2022. Yeah. Sorry, 20 years later. The bro. pandemic. Are you and, sure you're not still? Now? No, the, the pandemic. <laughs> the, time, time has so out relative, of joint. It? <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah. like, you, know, well, I, you, you just know, said joint. So yeah. are you? Hmm. You're a big weed head now. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> when you came on show <laughs> number 43 for movies and weed, the uh, first iteration of this, uh, you were not a cannabis user. No, I'm not. I wasn't. I, I was very. I was very mild. But then uh, um, now I am. 
Great. Much, much, much more than I yeah, have. So tell I, me I about some me. movies. No, 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 I'm going to tell you the story. You love with oh, weed now. No, no, it's changed so, everything so, for you. That's what happened. So what happened is, so I'm walking down the street and uh, I have a, you know, I often teach classes on things and and I thought I should have a, dis- or I, want, and I have to write about films and I said, oh, I didn't really watch Dune that well anyway right. and so forth and so on. And and, and I, I don't, I want to give an honest um opinion about it so I'll, I'll watch it again oh. but i said you know but i'm walking home and of course the dusk is out the sun is setting it's time for cbd and mm-hmm. thc to give me right. that put some dub in my ears yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you just you just float home right you just yes. just get some then i get home and i realized that it was a particularly strong joint <laughs> 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 and I said, I, but I, I got to watch this movie again, Dune. Three hours. Three hours. And I'm like, oh, I'll probably fall asleep on it. And I started it. And brother, it made a difference. Ah. Oh, it, it made sense to me finally. <laughs> it all came together. Oh, I was like, this movie's magnificent. Oh. <laughs> Best movie ever. Oh. I was telling you. I was like, oh my God, how did I miss this? Yeah. The, those huge spaceships, the sound. Oh. Like, oh my God. Yeah, you can feel the, the, Every the big worms in the ground. I yeah. saw the whole planet. And I was just like, Oh, and I went to the very end, and it was an amazing experience. And so when I, what I wanted to say on the show is, anybody, if you're going to watch Dune, I swear, I promise you, <laughs> if you had any doubts, if you had any questions, just hit a joint and watch it. It'll You will change whatever. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you'll be transported to that world. Riveted. Right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You, do. you realize the scale of the things, right? That director was really making, hey. yeah, it was Villeneuve. huge. Yeah, just like. You just you just put all this stuff there, and I was like, oh, you know what I mean. And the flights in the helicopter. Oh. <laughs> so then, so the details. Is that the first movie you've watched stoned, or no? Just I, I, this this the first one that I I had an opinion about before I was stoned. Yeah, got right. You. you know what I mean. It was the first because I've seen a few things. I watched a, I uh, <clears throat> I watched a film called Playtime by a French director out of the 60s, and he's called Jacques Tati, and I highly recommend it. You mentioned that on the last show. That's your yeah, all-time that's favorite my, movie. That's my all-time favorite, because I watched it, and I you know, you know, and I couldn't tell if I loved the movie or if I if the part was 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 was, was doing its uh, magic for the movie. And so I, I have, but I haven't, I just never, I've never had a situation where the movie, uh, uh, seen afterwards. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. I watch <laughs> nature documentaries like that, <laughs> get super high and watch nature documentaries. It puts me in. I'm there. Yeah. I am that. the photographer. Right? You, are, you are the insect I am the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, people yeah. talk about cannabis and how it puts you in the moment, mm-hmm. and that's what movies do as well. And so it just makes sense that you know you have this drug that puts you in the moment, and then you can be immersed, you mm-hmm. know, into a film that. You know, I like to read when I'm stoned, but a lot of people can't read stoned or they can't get the mind picture going. But you don't have to do any work when it's the movie, so you can just strap in, feel it, watch it. Absorb it. Exactly. And and it is different sometimes watching a movie sober versus watching it on weed. (laughs) Because, you know, it changes your perception of of sound, of pacing, of of the intensity. Uh, But for the most part, I feel like it amplifies a lot of movies. Uh, there's very few movies I would choose to watch not stoned. That's amazing that you read while stoned. That, I, I that do is, it every that day. Is, I call that a superpower. You do? Every day, yeah. I you read? read? Not, yeah. Listen, Wes has <laughs> Sorry, a, 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 a brain the size of a pumpkin. He's real and he is, smart. Everything he has a photographic memory. Photogenic. Everything that he reads, he everything re- I eat, reta- I remember. He retains or watches. Yeah, I feel so, like that's my biggest thing. I'll read the same paragraph five times, stoned, me. and be oh, like, I still me. don't know what you're talking yeah, about. No. The word you'll see the word uh, uh, s- sunset, and then you think, oh, there's a sunset. Oh, what about the sunsets in Harare? Yeah, oh, exactly. I've seen a lot of cool sunsets. I, that's, 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 I'll just, that's that's me reading. <laughs> You get distracted. I just, I yeah, it's the associative powers explode, right? Mm-hmm. Charles, you're, so, you're a different man uh, now that you've used cannabis. You have a different 
temper. You have a, a different aura about you than when I think it was about two years ago. It was, in fact, you were yeah. on show number 43 and cannabis, it appears to is, you know, improved your life. And did you start smoking during the quarantine? Yes, I did. Okay. Ah, yeah. You, you know, we had to start making uh, our heads um, because you couldn't go out anymore. So your head had to become the party. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of people did forget <laughs> about that. And so the, what was open was uh, uh, near my house uh, in Columbia City. Um, um, Here in uh, Seattle. Yeah. There was, they were open all the time. And so I started experimenting because, mm. you know, you couldn't really go to a bar. You couldn't. You couldn't you know, go during, 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 yeah. The, yeah. Fr the first part of the uh, lockdown. Quarantine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you, the only place you could go was to a grocery store. And pot stores were considered a necessity. And they were a necessity. And they were. Essential. They were oh, essential. Yes. No, very essential. So I'd go to this to this, to this, to this store and get, um, I, and I was like trying to, I, <clears throat> you know, first I was like um, um, a little bit of THC and then I kept increasing and then I went to 50-50. To, to, to um, but when I, um, what I'd do is I'd go and smoke and sit and watch the trains pass by. Oh, train spotting, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was incredible. <laughs> Without the it baby. Was, it saved my life. Cheap entertainment. Oh, wow. Yeah, you just sit there stoned and listening to dub. Very meditative. Yeah, yeah just yeah. watching the trains pass by. Mm -hmm. And I did that during the uh, the lockdown. I like that. Did you find that your writing changed? <clears throat> um, you know, I, I did it in the end of the afternoon. As a writer, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I, uh, I have to, I have to be, um, you know, I, I'm a big reader, as you are, and I, Okay. And but I need to have all of the the stuff um, together, yeah. yeah and be in that zone. Yeah, and I have to be able to. Weirdly enough, alcohol is the one is is is, is the one drug that I can sort of absorb without distraction. Hmm. But if loosens I, the fingers for yeah, writing a little you bit. Know? Yeah, and also it's, talking, yeah. and uh, and thinking. But when 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 it's it, it's the, the transportive aspect. Yeah. That 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 and if. So I can't. I'm trying to write something that will transport you. I when it, I get that pleasure when I, I, as you said, when I started and I discovered it, and yes, it changed. I, I can't really write stoned either. I can think of really great ideas, but mm -hmm. stony baloney. You know, I'll think of the idea when I'm high out in the woods or whatever, but I will actually compose it yeah. when I'm not under the influence of cannabis because if I do, it comes out disjointed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that? Oh, I do the same thing. Yeah, yeah when I'm writing. Oh, yeah, that's a metaphor. Oh, I, I think I talk like that too. sometimes. Charles, now it's time for you to play best buds. <laughs> What's that? Hollywood have given us some of the most memorable romances to have graced the silver screen, <laughs> but now it's time for you, sub bro, to name the movie. Did we just become best friends? Because we all <laughs> just want to be best buds. We're like BFFs now. Hollywood has given us some of the most memorable bromances in history. Mm -hmm. Can you name the movie, Charles? You're the guy. All right, number one. <laughs> With a sequel in the can awaiting the light of day, the sparks fly in the air and on the ground in this hate at first sight bromance, but there's no denying the love in the closing words when Iceman looks Maverick directly in the eyes and says, you can be my wingman anytime. Mm. Yeah, baby. Oh my God. Oh, you can't think of it? Does anybody at this table not know this movie? I'm stumped. You're kidding. Okay. <laughs> well, Mary's trying to cheat and give it to you. <laughs> Iceman, goose, goose, Iceman, the Navy flying. Wait, wait, you, wait, wait, you're talking about the, 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 the no, hold on, hold on, hold on. coming out. It's uh, that's Tom Cruise. But, but it's a long Val. sequel. Val Tom Kilmer. Gun. Tom Gun. Yeah. No, you had to say Tom Skerritt, who lives in Seattle. Oh, there you go, man. Tom Skerritt. And he was an alien. Yeah, but he's okay. Dallas. Are you sure you're not stoned? Okay. <laughs> ah, number two. No, you you realize what happens when I spoke pot. Yes. I'm already highly associated. I love it. But yeah, Top Gun. Good job. The, the correct answer. Yes. yes. He, he, did Charles just show the, up to the podcast? Yes. Yeah, he's here now. Okay. The he's Danger here. Zone. Just to let anybody know, I know this. Yeah, he knows yeah. what's up. Yeah. Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Okay. Number two. This super cool movie was written by Seth Rogen and his bestie, Evan Goldberg, as a thinly disguised recreation of their teen years. It's about two guys who are inseparable in the face of extreme odds against bullies and the terrifying prospect of having sex. Enter the character McLovin for even more awkwardness. 
American Pie. No, that's incorrect, <laughs> buddy. That's what? Uh, the movie's called Super Bad. Wes, I am stumping one Not of as the good most as super- revered movie critics yeah, on are. the West Coast right now. Well, I will okay. say that you know the movies that you're talking about are not the most revered movies. <laughs> super <laughs> there had. I never saw it. Many, <laughs> many cinematic values. Who yeah. asked you, Wes? Yeah. Okay. I, I love super bad. Number two. <laughs> or not, number three. I'm sorry. Oh. This documentary chronicles the rise to global notoriety for a Gen X terrestrial radio leftover and a curious college tennis playing millennial whose name comes from a character previously written out of a Dr. Seuss book. Having been basically written off until they found one another and built a media empire for the ages, this fun romp shows how consistent quality is the most vital element to long-term success. A must-see, this picture won the acclaimed Palme de Mor at the 2030 Cannes Film Festival. (laughs) Look at him. No, no. It's in the the future. No, no. I I put on my my Hollywood executive hat and I said, we're not going to shoot that fucking film. (laughs) (laughs) Get out of here. That sounds terrible. Get out of here. Okay. Where's the next pitch? He gets the right answer. He guessed it. I'm bullshitting him. Uh, That movie's called Ricker in the Bearded Lorax. Okay. (laughs) It's also a bromance. Yes, it is. Sorry to curse the show. (laughs) But that's, I was being executive. I was being real to my my character there. Hey, if you're looking for more Leaf content, just log into leafmagazines.com where you'll find cannabis news, reviews, entertainment, and culture. And that's where you'll find our extensive library of past Leaf Life shows. Coming up in part two, we'll explore popcorn and pot and discuss how cannabis pairs well with cinema, like we haven't already. And we'll get another spin of Stash's wheel and kick it all off with another episode of Why Didn't I Think of That? Leaf Life continues in just a moment. Your hosts for Leaf Life are Mike Bricker and Wes Apney. Leaf Life is produced by Mike Daly. Some of the music heard is provided by purple-planet.com. Every bit of cannabis you use is female, so please respect the ladies. Leaf Life is brought to you by Leaf Nation, featuring Alaska Leaf, Oregon Leaf, Northwest Leaf, Northeast Leaf, Maryland Leaf, Amsterdam Leaf, and California Leaf. On the shelf now in your local retailer. These products have intoxicating effects and may be habit-forming. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence of this drug. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. For use by adults 21 and older. Keep out of the reach of children. Some of the wardrobe, including Ricker or Wes's sick lids, provided by Grassroots California. Check out the dopeness at grassrootscalifornia.com. 